fears that at the library might be replaced with the hissing of a bomb. Police say a Collier County 12 year old, whom we're not naming because of her age, made a bomb threat that led to the evacuation of a Naples library earlier in the week. Four in your corner, Katie Jones asking parents what they think about the serious criminal charge the girl is now facing. When you think of a library, you think of silence, but this branch on Central Avenue was anything but silent earlier this week when police and bomb sniffing dogs swooped in here, all because of a simple note one girl now calls a joke. Phil Limbacher says he was shocked when school officials sent him an alert saying the library right next door to his son's middle school had been evacuated because of a bomb threat. Absolute concern, but um, the email stated that everything was under control, everything was okay, but my immediate, con my immediate reaction was concern. And he's stunned to find out who's accused of making that threat one of his son's classmates, and he has mixed feelings about the serious criminal charges she's now facing. I'm somewhat confusing. Um, on the one hand, it's a very serious threat. On the other hand, to, to charge her as an adult is seems somewhat extreme. The girl is charged with a felony for reportedly leaving a note in the book drop-off that said, quote, I will bomb the library. That led to a frantic scramble to evacuate the library and lock down the school. Several different law enforcement agencies, including a bomb sniffing dog, scoured the area. Parents sound relieved it was taken that seriously. With all the situations that go on, with um, you know all the activities, Boston bombings, New York bombings, and uh, you know it, it, shootings in Connecticut, it, it's it's not something that needs to be um, taken lightly. The girl reportedly said she meant it as a joke and apologized. Many parents say she should have known better. Twelve years old or not. Doesn't matter. It's a very serious thing. Anybody that makes a bomb threat should have serious charges, definitely. Um, it doesn't matter if they're joking around or not. Others say the girl may deserve some compassion. I have to give her the benefit of the doubt that she did not understand, even in light of all the other things that are you know, out there today, that the girl did not understand the severity of it. I have to believe in the, the goodness of people that she wouldn't have done something like that had she known the, the, uh, the repercussions that would have happened. So if your kid goes to school here at Gulf View Middle, you might be wondering how or if this girl might be punished by the school. Remember, this all happened at the public library directly next door to the school. Well, I reached out to the school district and her family. I'm still waiting to hear back. I'll keep you posted. Reporting in Naples tonight, Katie Jones, Fox 4, in your corner.